What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel, Aries, and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. Um, thanks, everybody, for all the love and support to the channel. We're at, hold on a second, 13,030 subscribers right now. So thanks so much for all the love and support to the channel. I truly, truly, truly appreciate it from the bottom of my heart chakra. Um, if you guys would like to donate or feel guided to donate, this High Priestess Tarot file, the link's in the description box below. PayPal only, no cash app, no Venmo. It's a very private, confidential way to donate if you choose to donate. Um, I appreciate all the love and support to the channel. I just want to let everybody know. And if you think anyone else would like my channel or um, or what I offer on here, um, please feel free to share my channel very publicly, word of mouth, and social media. I very much appreciate it. Just saying, just saying. Okay, so this is... Um, mid-June of 2022's um, Oracle card readings. I'm going to go ahead and get started on them um, because a lot of the messages, um, spirit messages I pull in are future. So um, I feel guided to go ahead and do them now because if I get a lot of future messages, hopefully you can see them before they resonate, if they do end up resonating for you. So it's 6 6 2022 right now, so I'm going to go ahead and do it, okay? I feel guided to do so, so I'm going to do it. This is for the sign of Aries. This could resonate if you have Aries in any aspects of your charts. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Moon, and Hanging of your charts. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate and leave the rest. Free general collective reading, not a personal. All right. Um, I encourage everyone to check out their Sun, Moon, Rising, and uh, North Node signs. Um, at least Sun, Moon, Rising, and North Node. Um, that way it gives you a better understanding and maybe you can, um, there's messages in the other signs, your placement signs, that would, um, would help you possibly or resonate possibly. Okay, so I feel guided to do Aries first, so I'm going to. One message may apply, two may apply, two plus may apply. Only you know your story and situation, not anybody else. So it's very important to only plug the messages that resonate in and leave the rest. Please don't force anything that doesn't fit. Spirit messages, you have some Aries. I did receive a couple channel messages in as I was meditating on your um, mid-June 2022's energy. Um, so I'm going to deliver them. The first one, I just want to say heavy family energy in here for whatever Aries this resonates with. Heavy family energy. Very heavy. Um, the first one I heard um, um, positive, happy vibes, vacation vibes. Um, Aries family. So that's a positive one. So it sounds like an Aries has already taken their family on vacation and it's been very positive, happy experience. For some of you Aries, it sounds like you're about to go on vacation with your family and it's going to be a very positive, happy experience. I heard very positive, happy vibes there. So it doesn't sound like there's going to be any craziness occurs, um, no drama, no you know negativity, things of that nature. So that's really, really good. However, the other one is not so good. <laughs> um, I heard... Um, a very shysty business that an Aries is a part of regarding their family. There is about to be huge arguments in public and in private regarding this business. It is about to fall apart in a huge way. Up in flames is what I just heard. Up in flames. Oh my Lord. Up in flames. God, like dumpster fire. So you plug it in how it resonates. So it sounds like one of you guys is not a, in a part of some kind of shysty business regarding your family and you're about to take your family on vacation or you already have. But one of you guys, you're in some kind of shysty business with your family. Now, I don't, you know, you have to plug that in, how it resonates, whatever kind of shysty business dealings this is with your family. Um, but I heard it's about to blow up in a huge way, like dumpster fire energy is what I'm feeling here. And that could be this. Dumpster fire energy. Situation and balance that requires careful handling. I mean, dumpster fire energy. I heard it's about to blow up not only in public, but in private. Many, many, many arguments are about to occur out of nowhere with this. Just out of nowhere. Embarrassing. 
Okay, I heard many, many, many arguments are about to occur um, out of nowhere with this. Embarrassing. And you have cat to face friend, so that could be the illegal business situation blowing up. I mean, dumpster fire energy. You plug it in, how it resonates there, Aries. Um, but I mean, only you know if you're part of an illegal business with your family or not. Um, only you know your story, not anybody else. So it sounds like some of you guys you are, and some you're not. But heavy family energy, no matter what spectrum you're on there, I will tell you that. I did, um, I've got the music playing again, but we'll have to wait a second. Oh, we're having connection issues. Okay. Okay. So, yeah, so heavy family energy no matter what um, spectrum you're on there. Congrats to the ones they're about to have or already has a, um, had a wonderful vacation or is about to have. Okay, so Dead and Bloated by Stone Temple Pilots is on. Um, I'm doing the music again with the readings. So Dead and Bloated by Stone Temple Pilots. Um, maybe that song resonates for you. Maybe it doesn't in the reading. Um, I feel that I could go with the toxic family business. It sounds like an illegal business about to blow up because why is there arguments in public and in private about this if it wasn't an illegal business? And I heard it was an illegal business. I mean, that's just the truth. We have psychic on the bottom of the deck, psychic eye. Um, so I think this illegal business is dead. It's, it's done. It's dead. It's dead and bloated. It's done for. I mean, it's hashtag done. Um, I think some, some of you Aries, obviously, if you resonate with that, you're low vibrational, you're not high vibrational. I think it should have been done a long time ago, is what I feel. And it's just been beat into the ground. Uh, I mean, and I hate to say that, whoever you are, low vibrational Aries. Maybe you are a high vibrational Aries in this family, and you're about to stand up to this shit. You have to plug yourself in wherever you fit. Are you high vibrational or are you low vibrational? Do you treat people with honesty, trust, respect, morals, values, integrity, and ethics, or do you not? I mean, because, you know, there's millions and millions of people in the world, tons of Aries. So you have to plug yourself in, in the dynamic where you fit. But I think there's a low vibrational Aries that really wanted to keep this going, and it's not working. Heavy psychic protection around one Aries. One Aries is about to develop psychic abilities. One Aries is very pissed that there is a psychic onto them. Woo, you plug in how it resonates. So heavy psychic energy around you guys, whether you're high vibrational, low vibrational, involved in a legal, shisty family business or not. One of you guys has heavy psychic protection. That could be your own psychic protection or another psychic protecting you. Um, or, you know, how that resonates. I heard one of you guys, you're about to start developing abilities, psychic abilities. So like me, you're about to start developing psychic abilities. Now, However, that resonates for you, though. You know, I mean, people develop them in different ways. Clear audience, clairvoyance, dreamscape, and then the psychic medium as type of abilities. But usually if you have psychic medium, you have clear audience, clairvoyance, dreamscape, or other, the smell one too, which I can't remember what that's called. Um, everybody develop them, develops them in different ways. So congrats to the one about to develop the psychic medium abilities. Whatever you develop and however you develop them. Sounds like spiritual realms about to develop uh, bless you with those kind of gifts. So congrats to whoever that's for. And then there's a low vibrational Aries that's pissed that a psychic is on to them. So there's a psychic picking up a very low vibrational Aries energy. This could be the um, low vibrational illegal business about to blow up in the community and behind closed doors. Gossip energy, communication energy, angry energy here. Um, like bees are about to sting in this in that in this aspect. They're about to sting.
if you're a messy dish, you have to flush it. A lawyer playing both sides is about to become very significant in Aries' life soon. For some, it is a public defender. For some, it is a private lawyer. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. A lawyer playing both sides is about to become very significant in Aries' life soon. Um, so it could be your lawyer, or you could be working for this lawyer, or you could be married to the lawyer, or be a family member of the lawyer, or what have you, but some kind of lawyer playing both sides. However you're connected to the lawyer is what I'm trying to say. Um, you could be connected to them in a million different ways, how that resonates. But there is a lawyer out there in the universe, I will tell you this, playing both sides, two-face. They're playing both sides. And um, it is about to blow up in their face in a huge way. Know this. It is about to blow up in their face in a huge way. Know this is what I just heard. So there's a lawyer out there in the universe that's playing both sides in some shape, form, or fashion. It can be a masculine or feminine, I'm feeling. I didn't hear if it was masculine or feminine lawyer. But just know, however you're connected to this lawyer, Aries, and however you resonate in this mix, it's about to blow up in their face in a huge way. So, however that resonates in one's life, it's not you that it's, you're not this dirty lawyer, basically. And I'll just call it for what it is. Y'all know I'm hashtag real talk on here. They're a dirty lawyer. Um, and it's at least two lawyers in the universe. One, they're a public defender. One, they are um, a private lawyer. And I heard it's about to blow up in their face in a huge way. So, um, however that resonates and applies in one's life, they're a um, Aries, whoever you are and how this was. Spirit message is here at the Okay, number two or 32 could be very significant numbers in one's life, two or 32. It could be possible age of a child of yours or somebody you're connected to, possible age of you or somebody you're connected to, or any other significant number in one's life, two or 32. We have deer, whale, beetle, grasshopper, cat, bees, main female or reverse, despair, upright. Um, you, some of you could be dealing with the earth sign or water sign. If you are, they could have uh, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, or... Um, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Ortho, Mid, Hemo, Jupiter charts, if you are, um, Deer, and Whale. A new co-worker is about to become very significant in an Aries life. They're, you're going to think they're very scared and timid, but their true self is about to come out soon. Definitely not scared and timid. Actually really, really good at what they do. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. New co new coworker energy, if this resonates for you, Aries. Um, it sounds like a new coworker about to come into your energetic space. So somebody coming into your workspace. Um, this, this is your new coworker energy. For some, it could be an earth sign. For some, it could be another sign taking on the deer energy. Um, but however that resonates, I heard you're going to think they're scared and timid. So you're going to think they're like deer energy, like doe eyes, like, oh, I'm so scared. I'm so scared. Oh, blah, 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 blah. Um, but I heard they're really not. They're really not. And I heard the true colors are going to come out, um, soon. So you will see them, but it doesn't sound like you're going to see them at first. Um, I heard they're actually very good at what they do. So whatever in the world they do, they're very good at it. But it sounds like you are not going to see this at first. It sounds like you you are going to perceive them as a scared, timid, not take charge kind of person. It is actually very, very, very opposite. It is about to shock the hell out of you. It is actually very, very, very opposite. It's going to shock the hell out of you. And it's going to threaten a lot of coworkers. Know this. 
and it's going to threaten a lot of coworkers know this. So it's actually very opposite. So they're actually not scared and timid. I think I heard it's going to threaten a lot of coworkers know this. So just saying, um, this new coworker is going to threaten a lot of coworkers. I feel for some, you can be managers, bosses, or CEOs or supervisors possibly of this situation, or you could just be another coworker on the outskirts um, viewing the situation, how that resonates. Or for some, you could be the jealous coworker. You have to plug yourself in where you fit, but I don't think for whoever this message applies for, I don't think you're going to be the jealous one. I think you're about to view this from the outside looking in or a manager, boss, supervisor, or CEO situation is what I'm thinking here. But how that resonates, um, I heard, um, so you're going you're gonna to think they're scared and timid and they're not good at their job, blase, blase, blase. But I heard it's actually very opposite. They're actually very good at their job. It sounds like their leadership material here. It sounds like their leadership material, but it's about to piss off their coworkers and make the coworkers very jealous. So I think your manager, boss, supervisor, CEO, if that resonates for you, the other coworkers don't want you to think they are leadership material, to think they are good at their job because they are threatened and intimidated by them. They want you to think they are a dear energy, but I heard you're going to see it. You are going to see it. Now, whether you actually help this person out um, and reward them for their good work, I don't know, but your, the other co-workers are going to want you to think they're a dear energy, and you're going to think they're a dear energy at first, too. Um, but I think it's because of the other co-workers. Probably in the training and evaluation process is my presumptive logic and reasoning on this. But you plug it in how it resonates. And no, the state is about to get involved in a very serious bullying and harassment situation of the past. And no, the state is about to get involved in a very serious bullying and a harassment situation of the past. So you plug it in how it resonates, Aries. Now, you could have been the one bullied and harassed, and the state's going to get involved and help you. Or you could report a bullying and harassment situation of the past on somebody else and the state's about to get involved and help them. Um, or um, you could be the one that was bullying and harassing someone and the state is about to get involved in that situation. How that resonates? I feel it like can go all three ways. You plug it in how it resonates. Water sign energy, bullying and harasser. But for some, you went along with it. Water sign energy, bullying and harasser, but for some you went along with it. So it was a water sign energy that was the bullying, bullier, buller, buller, ah, be sweet. bully and harasser, but for some you went along with it. So this is your bully, your water sign bully here, bully and harasser, um, whoever this person is to you and how they apply. But just know the state's about to get involved um, if that particular message resonates and applies for you. It doesn't sound like they've gotten involved yet. It sounds like they're going to. And that could be the despair energy for some if you are part of the bullying and harassment, um, it coming to the light. Um, if you were involved in the bullying and harassment, I'm sure you don't want it to come to light, but you should have never did what you did. And I'm just being for real. Um, but you plug it in how it resonates, okay? But this is your water sign bully. However, this person is connected to you. It could be masculine or feminine, water sign bully. They could have Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio, and their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Thumb, and Hammer, Jupiter, Charge. You plug in and how it resonates. And you know, whales are very big, and they're threatening. Um, or they can be uh, perceived as threatening to some people. So I think this water sign is threatening, or is perceived as threatening, to other people. Maybe not necessarily in a physical way, but and I don't think in a physical way in a lot of these situations. I think in a power hungry kind of way a money kind of way a um blackmail kind of way a manipulative verbal manipulative kind of way is what i feel and i think that's why they're showing up as whale the whale energy because whales are perceived as big and threatening to other sea creatures in the in the ocean and that's just the truth nobody wants to mess with a whale
reciprocity soon in the situation that was not balanced. Okay, I heard reciprocity soon in a situation that was not balanced. So this could be your water sign bully. Um, there might have to give some kind of reciprocity in a situation where it was not balanced. Um, or for some, maybe you were not being give, given to in a situation that was not balanced and somebody's about to have to give to you. There's some kind of bully energy in here, some kind of water sign bully energy, whether they were bullying you or bullying somebody else. Definite heavy water sign bully energy, some kind of reciprocity energy coming soon. It sounds like it hasn't happened yet. It could be the situation where the state's about to get involved or not. But how that resonates, there was definitely no give equal give and take. Definitely not. It was like a win at all cost kind of energy, but it sounds like it's about to be balanced out soon. So you plug it in how it resonates. And someone will end up in jail in this situation. For some, it'll be two plus. For some, an Aries will end up in jail. Okay. And I heard someone will end up in jail with, with this. For some, one person. For some, two plus. And for some, an Aries will end up in jail over this. So this bullying and harassment situation is what I'm feeling or any other kind of situation. There's somebody about to end up in jail over this. Some situations is Aries. For some, it's not an Aries and it's one person. For some, it's two or two plus people. I'm feeling not Aries. So you plug it in how it resonates. Oof. Beetle, good fortune. A lucky bandana for one. A lucky stone for one. A lucky rabbit's foot for one. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. A lucky stone for one. A lucky bandana for one. And a lucky, um, what was the other one? Stone, bandana, and, um, there was another one. You have to go back and check the third one. Stone, bandana, and there was another one. Oh, rabbit's foot. Stone, bandana, stone, bandana, and rabbit's foot. So good fortune. That that's the lucky stone, bandana, or rabbit's foot. You have to plug it in how it resonates. I feel for some of you guys, you carry these on you, or you're about to. I think you consider these lucky, or they have been good luck, or good, um, and have brought you good luck or good fortune in your life, or you feel they're about to. How that resonates? Some kind of lucky stone. I'm feeling it's like crystals for some of you guys. I certainly feel it's crystal energy, like spiritual crystal energy. For some, it could be any other stone. Um, you have to plug in how it resonates. For some, some kind of lucky bandana energy. Um, whether you already have this bandana or you're about to obtain it. And then a lucky rabbit's foot. So I feel you think it's going to bring you great um, good fortune and good luck, or it already has. How that resonates. Grasshopper situation in the balance that requires careful handle careful handling. An investigation is about to become very significant in an Aries life. An investigation is about to become very significant in an Aries life. For one, you're going to be very, very heavily questioned. For one, you're going to help with this investigation. Okay. Heard an investigation is about to become very significant in Aries' life. For one of you guys, you're going to help with this investigation. And for one, um, you're going to be questioned. So you plug it in, how it resonates. Um, that's the investigation energy. Situation in the balance that requires careful handling. An evaluation is about to become very significant in Aries' life as well. An evaluation is about to become very significant in Aries' life as well. So... Investigation and evaluation energy. You plug it in how it resonates. Cat, a two-faced friend. Huge betrayals have already been here. For some Aries, more betrayals are coming. Some are very jealous of you. 
Some are just very low vibrational. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates, man. I had a lot of betrayal energy in Aries last Oracle card reading, too, if y'all saw that one. A lot. Um, more betrayal energy. But some it's already past betrayal energy. For some it's upcoming. So you have to plug it in your own life how it resonates if it does apply for you, okay? Um, you have to plug yourself in where you fit. And that could be the despair energy as well. Um, betrayals all across the board. Whether it's already happened to you or it's about to happen to you. For some, it could be this water sign bully. For some, it could be somebody else. But you plug it in how it resonates. Um, I heard for some, the reason they have betrayed you is because they're jealous of you. So they're jealous and they're jammies of you. And that's really sad. It's really sad. Um, people need to learn to grow up. But, you know, I don't control other people, nor would I want to. But they have to do the hope, um, the growing and the healing and the shadow work on their own self to grow up, basically. Um, but for some, I heard, uh, so for some, it's because they're jealous of you. And that's why they betrayed you or they're about to. Um, and for some, it's just because they're low vibrational. So low vibrational, we already went over that. They don't treat people with honesty, trust, respect, morals, values, ethics, or integrity. They're just, they just don't operate that way. And for some, I feel it's this water sign bully. And I'm just being for real. For some, it could be somebody else. But they just don't operate that way. They are on the dark side. They don't operate that way. So for some, it's because they're jelly of you. Some is because they don't operate that way. They're not, they love it there. They love it there in the low vibrational aspects. So they don't want to grow, heal, do shadow work. They love it there. For one, it's going to hugely backfire on them, hugely. For one, it's going to hugely backfire on them, hugely. So for one of these low vibrational people, no matter what sign they are, um, it sounds like, an up. well, it could be already a past betrayal or upcoming betrayal. I heard it's going to backfire on them hugely. So, um, well, that's karma coming around. Bees. There is about to be huge gossip in a particular community soon. Huge. One Aries is about to be mortified. Because they were involved. Some workplace situation, some investigation. Okay. Heard there's about to be huge um, gossip in a particular community soon. Um, some regarding a secret society. Some regarding a secret society. So huge gossip in a community soon. Some regarding a secret society. Some regarding uh, an investigation. Now, there's a million investigations, so however that resonates and plugs in. For some, some kind of workplace situation. For one of you guys, it sounds like you're on the outskirts of this looking in. For one of you guys, you're in the cut of it. And basically, I heard you're going to be mortified because you are in, you are involved in this. Like, you're in the cut. So, you plug it in how it resonates. So, that's the investigation energy or the, um, or the workplace situation, which could be an investigation for some. And for some, um, uh, some kind of secret society energy and an attempted poisoning of co-worker of a co-worker is about to become very significant in an Aries life and an attempted poisoning of a co-worker is about to become very significant in Aries life for some it's your spouse that was a try that try, was they tried to poison Oh my God, you plug it in how it resonates. So some kind of attempted poisoning energy. That's some people need to get it the damn together. They need to get together. They need to quit secretly competing to the point they want to poison people to death, literally, um, and leave people the hell alone. And I'm just being for real. Some kind of attempted poisoning energy. It doesn't sound like you're the one that's poisoned somebody or is attempted to poison them. At least God, I hope not. Only you know if you're a low vibrational attempted poisoner or not. You have to plug in how it resonates, but some kind of attempted poisoning energy of a co-worker. So I feel you could be manager, boss, supervisor, or CEO, or a co-worker of this person. I don't feel it's you um, that somebody tried to attempt to poison. I think it's somebody you're connected to. However that resonates. And for some, it's your spouse they attempted to poison. So um, I'm feeling like, and I didn't hear this, it's just my logic, intuition, and reasoning on this. I feel 
they, for some, it's in a workplace situation. For some, it's in a workplace situation. And that could be where the investigation is going to be, too. Um, how the hell does somebody not get investigated for attempted poisoning in a workplace situation? And I'm just, I mean, that should be very heavily investigated. And I'm just being for real. That's so crazy. So gossip over the poisoning, um, situ attempted poisoning situation, whether it was your spouse or a coworker or a, a, or an associate or a coworker or an employee that you are connected to in a company. Um, oh my God. It is about to go around like wildfire. One of these people is going to end up in the hospital. Extremely ill. It is about to go around like wildfire. One of these people is going to end up in the hospital extremely ill. So it sounds like it sounds like somebody's already attempted to poison your spouse or attempted to poison a coworker. And I think I pulled poisoning in an Aries like two or three readings ago. You have to plug it in how it resonates. Somebody needs to leave somebody a hell alone. And I'm, I'm just being real. So for some, I feel it's past energy is what I'm trying to say. But for some, it's upcoming. It's upcoming. I heard one of these people is going to end up in the hospital soon. They will be so ill over this poisoning. But I think it's in a workplace situation is what I'm trying to say. Somebody is doing this in a workplace situation. I feel they might be bringing hot lux or little snacks. For people like communal snacks, but manipulate and entice somebody to, hey, I made this one specially for you. Um, energy, oh my God. So I feel for some it's already happened, for some it's upcoming. I would be very careful, you guys. Of course, you have free will and you use your best discernment on all these readings. Y'all know that. Anybody's been in a hot minute, you know that. Use your best discernment discernment all these messages may not apply i just pull in the spiritual downloads the spiritual universe wants me to deliver in the psychic medium around here but somebody's spouse is being poisoned or is about to be poisoned in a workplace situation aries one of you your spouse for one of you it's one of your co-workers so bad they're about to get ill and wind up it via hospitalization like inpatient there's about to be huge gossip over this shit because somebody's trying to take somebody down in a workplace situation via the food. Somebody needs to, I, if I was the boss and that shit happened, I would put out all hot looks. But I'm not a boss in a workspace 3D situation. But if I was, that's what I'd do if that situation happened. And that's just the damn truth. Because somebody, and I would press charges on the person attempted poisoner because somebody needs to learn a lesson here and i'm just being for real i feel dark arts energy here and i didn't hear it was but why are they trying to poison somebody i mean there's not good intentions there and i'm just being for real main female reversed it could be that water sign bully for some of you for some it could be somebody else but we it's all in here there's a bully in, bully in a workplace, heavy bully in a workplace. There's attempted poisonings that's already happened in workplaces, some upcoming in workplaces. Somebody's airy spouse is about to get um, poisoned. Um, that, it could be your spouse that ends up in the hospital. This could be your spouse that ends up in a hospital. Main female reverse for some. For some, it could be somebody else. But we got two-faced friend too, the poisoner. I mean, Lord. I think it was in Cancer's reading. I was pulling in poisoning like two readings ago, one or two readings ago. You can go back and check it, but I can't remember exactly. Main female reverse. A breakup is about to become very significant in Aries' life and a feminine energy that is about to be hospitalized for poisoning. Poisoning, 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 poisoning. You plug it in, how it resonates. This is crazy. So, you plug it in, how it resonates. Um, hospitalization, energy strong here. A feminine energy that's about to end up hospitalized is about to be very significant in Aries' life. That could be any kind of fem energy that is significant in your life that's about to be hospitalized. It sounds like it hasn't happened yet. It sounds like it's upcoming. 
I feel that can go mental health or it can go medical. You have to plug it in how it resonates, okay? And then we're pulling in the poison victim that's about to be. So there's one situation, somebody, whoever this person is in your life that is significant, upcoming, about to be hospitalized, whether it's mental health or it is medical, okay? Then we have upcoming poison person in a workplace. I feel strongly feel as a feminine energy um, or a masculine that takes on heavy femme because that's how, that's what I got with this channeling. They're about to become significant in your life too. For some, I feel it is your spouse. For some, it is somebody else. Maybe it's your coworker or somebody else's coworker or a family member or a neighbor or a community member or what have you. But this is terrible. They're, they're coming up main female in reverse. I think it's because they will be down, like down in despair, in bad health, in the hospital bed, is what I'm thinking here. Like, this is terrible. This is terrible. Somebody needs to do something about this, and I'm serious. Um, I'm serious. I, it hasn't happened yet. It's upcoming. And I heard a breakup significant in here as well for an Aries. So that could be you taking the initiative and breaking up with person, people, uh, well, not person or people, but person or someone breaking up with you. For some, I feel you could be breaking up with that feminine energy and that's why their main female reversed. That's upcoming in the universe too. And that could be the situation and balance that requires careful handling as well. And it's going to give you good fortune if you, for some, if you're on the rocks with your significant other. Um, However that resonates, for some it could be an earth sign or a water sign that you're about to break up with or they're about to break up with you. I'll let you know your story, not anybody else. For some it is a homosexual relationship, for some it's heterosexual. For some it's a homosexual relationship, for some it's a heterosexual. So for some of you guys it's a homosexual relationship, so femme to femme or masculine masculine. For some it's heterosexual, masculine to femme. Whether you were the one about to break up with this person or they're about to break up with you, okay? Lord have mercy. This is good. Lord. Let me see if I hear anything else. Oh, yeah. And Aries is about to see huge intuitive spikes in their community. Huge. People are about to start doing things that's not normal. You're about to pick up on this. For one, you're about to make changes to your own life and property. For one, you're going to call the police. It's about to get so bad. Suspected illegal criminal activity. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. So you plug in how it resonates. So despair energy, I think, is the realizing your community or your neighbors are shysty or you think they're shysty, how that resonates. Um, weird behavior. Regardless, it's weird behavior. Um, behavior they don't normally exhibit. Whoever these people are in your community or neighborhood or family or workplace or what have you, they don't normally exhibit the behavior. It sounds like it's upcoming, and it sounds like a lot of it. Like, extreme behavior, I'm feeling, or a lot of abnormal behaviors they don't normally characterize and exhibit, basically. How that resonates. But for some, you're going, and I feel for a lot of you guys, it's not in the workplace situation, it's in your community. Like, you associate with them, like, on ball teams or community activities or... Um, community space activities um, or what have you, what have you, but how that resonates, you're about to pick up on it. You're about to have huge intuitive spikes. You're, go you're going to watch. You're going to people watch is what I feel. You're about to people watch and you're about to pick up on it. Um, for some, I heard you're going to make changes to your property and your home. Um, so I'm feeling like security camera energy or signs or uh, like do not enter, no trespassing or 
something of that nature. Um, whatever or whatever changes you're going to make to your own property or your own um, space you rent or your 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 space in your life. Um, however that resonates. For some, you're going to call the police because I heard a suspected criminal activity. So my point is their behavior is about to become so erratic or so different or so not in the norm of what it used to be. It's going to cause you to people watch them and people watch them heavy. And I think you're going to be in despair of this or they're going to be in despair if you call. And um, um, for some, you know, make a that this isn't false police report energy. This is true police report energy here. And um, report what the crap's going on. And for some, that might be the people that end up in jail for some. Because I heard some's going to end up in jail. So you plug it in how it resonates. That could be the two-faced friend energy as well for some. You plug it in how it resonates. This, whoo, Lord. This is strong, Aries. A sick uncle, very, very, very sick uncle is about to become significant in Aries' life. A very, very, very sick uncle is about to become very significant in Aries' life. That could be the spare energy, too. Possibly for some. Um, a very ill uncle. It's, I feel it's your uncle or somebody you're connected to's uncle. But I don't think you're going to be happy about this. Um, well, we have bad health on the bottom. Yeah, I don't think you're going to be happy that they're about to get very, are very ill. For one, they're not going to make it. They will end up passing away. For one, they're not going to make it. They're going to end up passing away. So some kind of very ill uncle energy for at least one of you guys. I heard they're not going to end up making it. They're going to end up, one of them's going to end up passing away. So my condolences to whoever that's for, where your uncle's about to pass away or somebody you're connected to's uncle. You plug it in how it resonates. For some, it could be an earth sign or water sign uncle, possibly for some. Um, but you plug it in how it resonates. An Aries is about to file an abuse charge on an air sign very soon. For some, an air sign. For some, a water sign. Report. Report. Oh, my God. I heard it. Dear Lord. An Aries is about to report some kind of abuse. Um, they want an abuse charge. Apparent. I heard file an abuse charge, but I don't think you can. I think that's like... That's like police energy. Um, maybe for some of you are the police. Hell, I don't know. But I heard file an abuse charge, but I don't think you can do that. I think that's up to the police um, precinct to do that. Um, but you plug it in how it resonates. However that resonates, one of you guys, it sounds like upcoming, you're going to want to place an abuse um file a report or file some kind of um, abuse charge on a water sign for some, for some uh, air sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, for some, uh, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. But however that resonates, um, it sounds like you about to take this action. Um, whoever you are, Aries, you are in despair over some kind of abuse that has occurred. And for some, I feel it's giving you bad health and you're about to report this. So I feel you're going to report this abuse. And then I think hoping they will file abuse charges on them is what I'm gathering from that um, 